Hello everyone, my name is Ebos Vox and welcome to a kind of different video. So Microsoft Office is, is expensive and if you're not like me you don't really have any options of getting it for any cheaper. It is very expensive. The current ongoing, actually let me get a price list going here. At least at my work if you get the Office Home and Student which is only for one computer ever, that's all you get it for it's $139 to use Office on one computer. To use Office 365, which is their subscription, it is $99. That gives it to you for five computers, but it only gives it to you for a year. And then you likely have to pay $90 again. Thankfully, or not thankfully, Microsoft Office is no longer the best solution for most people. And in fact, due to how we do things at school and everything, the best solution for me is Google Drive, which is why hopefully I'm getting a Chromebook as well very soon. However, I will be doing a future video on Google Drive. This video is about LibreOffice. The reason you might be asking why not just use Google Drive is because Google Drive doesn't fully support the use and the full functionality of local files at the moment. So if I have, let me, yeah. So like I have files on my computer here. However, I can't tell it to open this docx file with Google Docs. I can put it in, you know, I have it in my Google Drive folder, and I can upload it to Google Drive and edit it from there. But I can't formally edit local files that aren't GDoc files with Google Drive. And that creates a problem for some of my school assignments because I have to upload it to our Blackboard-like system and submit it to turn it in and things like that. Can't do that with GDocs. So you need a midway solution. I get Microsoft Office free from my university, but I only have a certain amount of activations and I don't want to waste it on my new Windows install on my desktop because that install may change again in the future and frankly I just don't need it here, so why waste it since I only have a certain limited amount of options. So I think the best option for a desktop solution is going with LibreOffice. So I'm going to show you how to download it. You just go to LibreOffice.org. This is very similar to OpenOffice, however it's what I consider the newer version the company or the group that was making it split into OpenOffice and LibreOffice and LibreOffice has gotten quite a few new updates over OpenOffice that make it quite a bit of a better solution. So just click the download button and it takes you to LibreOffice.org slash download and you can get the main installer or help. I'm just going to get the main installer and I'm going to actually you can download it with a torrent which is pretty cool and further evidence that Torrent files aren't just for pirating. You can of course donate and pay to support LibreOffice, however that is not required and when you're looking for a free option, not necessarily recommended. However, if you do like it and have some money down the road, it's always good to support to open source alternatives. The file is of course 209 megabytes, so it will take some time to download. So let it download and it will download the installer for you. Once your installer has downloaded, go ahead and click it, open it up here, tell it to run, and of course this is available for pretty much any operating system ever, there may even be iOS apps and Android apps for it, I don't know that for certain, but there might be. Alright, what additional components, we definitely want everything of the dictionaries to be installed. This is of course all up to your user preference if you want to customize this. If you want to just go with the default, there's nothing wrong with that. And I'm not going to screw with languages other than I'm going to install Spanish. Because I use Spanish. For, and, you know, I take Spanish in university, so might as well add support for it. And Japanese, just for the hell of it. Alright. Click next, tell it to install. You can of course, of course, you can of course change the install location. If you install your programs elsewhere, I keep it on my solid state drive. And then here, this is the important part. This is why I'm actually installing the software. Is This is where you set the default, you know, tell it to open these files as default. This is my issue, is I don't have anything that will properly open Word documents or Excel spreadsheets or whatever without converting it and editing it exclusively in Google Drive. So here I will have LibreOffice to do that for me. Microsoft Word, for whatever reason, was unchecked by default, so I just checked it. Everything else is good. It can open all that stuff. Hit Next. Start start link on desktop. Why not? 
you can tell it to load during startup. I don't know why you would tell your office program to load at startup, but hey, there's an option for you. If you get a user account control, you know, are you sure you want to do this option? Just hit yes. It's safe. It's widely used and recommended. And of course, you can scan and run your own virus scans if you want, because I'm not responsible for what viruses you end up on your PC, but there's no reason you should be getting any sort of virus or anything like that from LibreOffice. Now let it install here as I get a drink of water. For whatever reason, I'm actually really excited to get this working because it's been a pain since I went back to Windows 8 after I had some software issues and haven't had Office installed on here and it's been kind of a pain to screw with documents because I have to do the extra work around to get them on Google Drive and while Goog using Google Drive primarily is actually a lot better for me, it's still somewhat a pain to have to do work around to open files so it will be nice to be able to open files directly and not have to go through too many steps. Of course, how long it takes will vary depending on what kind of computer you have. Once it's done, hit finish. Then you have this nice LibreOffice 4.2 shortcut, or whatever version you're running. I do believe if you go through your start menu, Libre, yeah, you can create specific shortcuts for what, you know, for the individual programs. And so I'm actually going to make a group on my Windows 8 start menu for this specific purpose because office. And then if I scroll out, I should be able to, how do I do that? Yeah, if I go like this, then I should be able to drag office. Oh look, I already have an office tab. Okay. Well, that's simple enough. I'll drag it next to here, scroll back in, and then move my shortcuts over. Writer will go up here, Impress, which is PowerPoint, Calc is Excel. So the names are a little bit different, and that will confuse a lot of basic users, trust me, from working at work. Um, it will confuse you if you're not, if you're used to Word, Excel, PowerPoint, but, you know, Writer is obviously Word, Impress, PowerPoint, Calc, Excel. That's the basic programs you need. And then of course you could just launch the LibreOffice shortcut itself and it will load the launcher for doing everything, which is somewhat convenient. So you can tell it to open files, there are templates available and you should be able to get the Avery templates you need, things like that. And you can of course search for them or upload your own, create your own, or just create a writer document. It looks very similar to Microsoft Office and of course very similar to OpenOffice, but that way it works for you. So I'm going to close without saving and show now dot docx does now open with LibreOffice, which is what I need. Bam. So this is good to make sure you can edit local files how you need to, as well as frankly, just avoid using proprietary software like Microsoft Office. Hope this helped you out. Hope this helps you out. Hope this, you know, video is useful to you. This is how you avoid using Microsoft Office and having to pay for really, really expensive software. And yeah, I will be doing a Google Docs, Google Drive video soon showing the benefits of using it versus Microsoft Office. The big thing about this, frankly, is that it's free. Everything else is very, very similar to Office. It has pretty much all the same functionality except for maybe the cloud interface from Office 2013, but it has a lot of really basic stuff. So if you're not using anything that you specifically need Microsoft Office for, then this will be great for you as it will open your files, allow you to edit and print and save them. and good step for moving away from Microsoft Office. Again, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. As always, thank you for watching. See you next time. Thanks for watching Epos and Chew. Let's play together. If you enjoyed the video, consider clicking on the screen to subscribe now. To watch another video, click one of the video annotations on the screen above. Links are also provided to our website, Twitter, and Facebook pages. See you next time.